Hello! We... Hello, you are alright? I love this. That's beautiful. You're gorgeous. You're my favourite person in this street. We are a group called Vegan Island. This month is World Vegan Month. My name is Dominic Berry and I am a poet. We're not here like asking for money or anything like that. All we're going to do is entertain you with just a couple of poems, a couple of performance poems. Um, this is my first trip to Dublin actually and I'm sure you're all going to be absolutely beautiful and make me think Dublin's the best place in the world. Is that right? Yeah. Is that right? Oh my goodness. All right. So, it's World Vegan Month. I'm a vegan poet. I'm going to share with you a vegan poem, what I wrote, right? And it is an audience participation poem. Now, if you don't want to join in, you don't have to. Unless you're my mate. You have to join in, right? They have to. You guys don't, but you can if you want, right? It's a love poem, right? I was once in love with a girl. It's a very sad story because the girl is no longer in my life. You can go R if you like. Aww. No, no, it's a little sad than that. The girl's no longer in my life. Aww. I know. <laughs> I know. So, however, I'm a vegan poet and my passion for vegan cuisine will get me through. And the most succulent, the most delicious vegetable there is, the queen of vegetables is, of course, the aubergine. Alright! Alright! So in this poem, when I say the words, Ola Moa! I would love it if you could please reply, Oh, Aubergine! And I want you to say it with passion and gusto and fun. And we've got to compete with that thing that's been waiting round the corner for me to start with poetry. <laughs> But that's good because you're going to be so loud, you'll hear us anyway. So we can have a practice. I say, oh, le more, and you say, oh, oh, yeah. oh, nine out of ten for volume, but only five out of ten for gusto. Oh. This is my first visit to Dublin, and I believe that Dublin's got more gusto than that. Let's do it again with all the passion of your soul. Here we go, ready? Oh, oh, very, very good. Okay, here is my poem. Oh, thank you. A round of applause for the lovely street cleaning people who are going very slowly away from us. Beautiful people. We love it with all our heart. Can I say I love your scarf there? It's a work of art. Beautiful. Hey, right, let us begin. <laughs> Hint of mint. Tongue tips glint. We are skint, but not broke. She fixes me, woke me, because we cook curry thick and runny. We got riches that are better than money. Hint of mint, Moroccan tagine. Oh, l'amour. Oh, She'll de gorge and stir my bean. Oh, l'amour. Oh, l'amour. <laughs> A little bit of a ripple effect there. <laughs> Smoky nightshade, darkly lean. Oh, l'amour. Oh, l'amour. Lick her. Plates all shiny clean. You've got a rude mind. <laughs> oh, l'amour! Oh, 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 share this moment. Share this meal. I share the cost. I don't share how I feel. I don't talk too sweet. Don't recollect, though her eyes reflect when we first met. She was a one-woman army, tough vegan machine. <laughs> oh, l'amour! Oh, 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 but then... She got married. That's like a really sad bit. You could go on more than that. Then she got married. Oh. I know. He 
doesn't even cook. Yet our time he easily took. She is pot, veggie, quiche. He's cold flan. She's full Sunday roast. He's beans from the can. He's king of the noodle. She's strawberry cake queen. Oh, Lamore! Oh, oh Regine! His celery is wilted and she's luscious and green! Oh, Lamore! Oh, oh Regine! Don't talk too sweet. Don't share how I feel. Because occasionally we do still share a meal. Hint of mint, tongue tips glimmer, smile. Make a hearty dinner. But nothing else. I don't act too keen. Oh, L'Amour. Oh, We've got this moment. We are lush. Serene. Oh, L'Amour. Oh, oh, my word. Give yourselves a round of applause. Yeah. Look at you all. People of Dublin are so beautiful. Any one of you who's over the age of 18, I would happily make you my life partner. You're that beautiful, especially with your ears, you know. My word, my word. Okay, so my name is Dominic Berry. I'm a poet. I'm here with Vegan Island because this month is World Vegan Month. We are parading the streets of Dublin with performance poetry, my dear. And it's going to be all over the shop. Where are we next, Roger? We're going to do one more poem before we leave here. Where are we next? Uh, we're going to the top of Grafton Street. Top of Grafton Street at 2 o'clock. And then in Cornucopia, the restaurant, at 3 o'clock. So you might catch us again. Um, check out the Vegan Island website. Um, all we're doing today, we're not asking for money. We're just entertaining, entertaining. Because you might have thought, before seeing us today, the vegans were all limp, lifeless blobs of jelly just lying around the floor going, oh, I'm so weak and pathetic. And look at us. We're full of joy. And, yeah, so, I've got one more poem for you. And it is about, it's about science, as it happens. Yes. Um, it's about protein. Do we have any scientists stood around here? <laughs> got half a scientist there, kind of a, a closet scientist. Right, so this is a poem about protein. I really hope you enjoy it. It goes like this. Protein. Protein is a biochemical compound whose name Vesalius found. Von Voigt claimed flesh makes flesh. Sang a sequence insulin for its price haemoglobin and the Swedish were impressed. More studies on its benefits directed mutagenesis as Weissman had foreseen. To give those claims such credence does not distract from our grievance. Where do vegans get protein? I mean, what exactly do they eat? It can't be healthy. No meat. Such Shakespearean introspection between the facts to delve lament. B12 or not B12, surely that must be the question. Well, it is simple to eat sensible. The soybean lacks cholesterol. It's easily fortified and cooked can taste exceptional. Tongue tinglingly sensual. And yes, it will provide protein as will peanut butter, black beans, black seeds, pecans, almonds, lentils and cashews. And yet, here is my beef. When I hear people debating my belief, people who question what I choose, you see, I don't choose for pigs to feel. Now, I don't just believe that their pain is real. That is a fact. It's not myth, and it's not needed. So, can we, in evolution, swap those myths for resolution? See that cruelty superseded? The facts of protein's chemistry. 
They are documents throughout history. They're laid out plain and clear. So, I hopefully wait for an honest, heartfelt date when protein's myths will disappear. Thank you very much. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.